Well, it's day five, another brisk morning. Not quite as brisk as previous ones, fortunately, but still freezing our parts off. And we've come here to watch Qigong, which is a very traditional Chinese practice. Unfortunately, behind us, all we seem to be seeing is the Chinese version of the Jane Fonda workout. The East and West are as different as night and day, or yin and yang when it comes to exercise, diet and philosophy. But there's one thing we all agree upon. We want to stay well. In between takes, I'm very, very cold, but it is quite inspiring watching all these people having exercise, taking part. And now we're going to see a demonstration from Bob to see how it's done. <laughs> I don't think so. By the rivers of Babylon, Boney M, hey, eat hey, your heart hey, out. Hey, hey, hey. Are you just preparing for the Olympics or? <laughs> Mr. Green has just nearly started an international incident by kicking somebody. <laughs> this guy? 80. He's 80 years old. He's more nimble than me. Mine's going to climb up this hill, carrying all the gear. It appears he's made it. Oh, good. Oh. Well, Sir Edmund, now I know exactly how sure the tensing felt. America's interest in acupuncture was triggered by Secretary of State Henry Kissinger's visit to the People's Republic of China in 1971. President Nixon was eager to re-establish relationships with President... with who? I've got his name. There we go. <laughs> It's the Mikado. What do, you, what do you think? Ken and Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Can I grow my ponytail out, please? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's and, today, good and today's yes. hat is high quality souvenirs. <laughs> Look at that. For my mother. She likes fridge magnets. Ooh. I come all the way to Beijing and I can buy a London badge. <laughs> Here is the Brush Fire crew filming in Tiananmen Square. America's interest in acupuncture was triggered by Secretary of State Henry Kissinger's visit to the People's Republic of China in 1971. President Nixon was eager to re-establish relationships with Chairman Mao. I think we're going to get shot down. Don't swing the camera to your left right now. Very bad. So um, things went from possibly being very bad to us being thrown out of Tiananmen Square to actually now the police are guarding us to make sure nobody bothers us, which is very nice, very polite. Does it be rude again? No, no, it's very non-capitalist. <laughs> what if the thing is they have no idea who I am? Who are you? They have no idea who, who are I am. you? <laughs> I'm someone on the other side of a camera, so I must be famous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's more. Hang on. <laughs> Once again, Mr. Greener is digging himself into a very large political hole. Not digging a hole. <laughs> Everything's perfect under control, thank you. <laughs> very rude. And by the way, I've got three jackets on here, which is why I look like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> It's nothing to do with eating too much Chinese food. Or chicken Lots heads. Chicken heads. <laughs> Aside from medicines derived from the animal kingdom, 
There are countless types of dried and preserved herbs, blossoms, roots, berries, mushrooms and fruits. The oldest record of acupuncture appears in the 4,700 year old Yellow Emperor's Classic of Internal Medicine, which is said to be the oldest medical textbook in the world. By European standards, its theories were several centuries ahead of their time. A bit of trash readjustment. <laughs> Another non-union job. Rebuilding the set. Today started out, I got a hug from Mr. O, first thing. Then, he told me that when I retired, I can come back to China and he'll teach me Tai Chi. Yeah, he'll teach you a lot of things, I bet. <laughs> Old Mr. O, huh? Just a quick roundup of today's follies. Uh, first of all, I'd like to observe that yet again I'm in just a jacket and shirt, while other people have parkas on and are wrapped up to the gunnels. Apart from that, it's been a pretty good day. We've experienced a charm offensive. Yes, things have gone well, and um, never mind the cultural revolution, we've had the crew revolution, and things are back on course, I'm pleased to say. So fortunately, no one's had to be Spanished today. Good night.